Well, this is a pelvic ultrasound study of a female referred uh, with severe excruciating pelvic pain and uh, has <coughs> is saying that uh, her menstrual cycles are regular and at this time 10 days above the expected this is the in fact endometrial canal that measures 12.5 and the uterus measures 3.2 centimeter in transfer section this is the uterus this is the urinary bladder in transfer section this is the fluid seen in the pelvic cavity with septa and dependent region echoes this is also a septa in a longitudinal section this is the uterus Okay, now this is now you see this is the uterus myometrium and this is the endometrial canal. This is fluid. This is all fluid. This is fluid. These are bubbles floating in it. This is the cervix. Now one thing that uh, is confusing is she denies any manipulation or but you can see that the outer surface of the wall as this at the fundal region the wall is not traceable and uh, here you see that the anterior wall of the uh, uterus or posterior myometrium is seen clearly. Okay, fine enough. But the fundal, at the fundal region, uterine wall is uh, absent, is not seen. This area. I am talking about this region where this the um, wall of the uterus, capsule of the uterus. This is the anterior myometrium, posterior, and this is the endometrial canal, this area, and this is the fluid surrounding the, now in this uh, section you will, you are seeing the uh, uterus in longitudinal section being surrounded by fluid at the frontal region and as well as in the pelvic cavity this is all fluid full of echoes and the uterus measures in length approximately now this is not the correct length sorry we have to go for the correct length here we are now you see don't see the fundal region uterine wall and the uterus measures 6.4 by 2.4 centimeter and it's uh, reduced as the anterior posterior diameter should be at least 2.5 uh, here we see 2.5 maybe because of the pressure on the uterus by the fluid that is surrounding it otherwise the dimensions are with the normal now she is saying that uh, she, is, she did not conceive in six months of uh, marriage. So, who you have done? Only the thing is She was on medicines for. Uh, conception. Now here what I see is uh, in transfer section. This is the region of the ovary. So this is the septum. This is all fluid. Dependent region echoes. This is the uterus in this section. This is the endometrial canal. There are two cystic areas seen in the right ovary 
measuring uh, in the ovary that measures 2.9 into 1.8 with the follicle largest follicle measuring 9.5 millimeters this is the urinary bladder and this is the fluid and this is the uterus in transfer section in this view and uh, here you see there are echoes white specks you see within the fluid the, uh, and this is the septum this region Now, the fluid is separated, you can see, debris, concentrated debris here. This is the, now I am moving the probe upwards and I can see fluid in the paracolic as well. Here I am in the paracolic gutter with ideal source muscle, fluid, bowels. Fluid is seen in the fluid is seen in the hepatorenal angle. And the fluid is seen in the left paracolic gutter. This is the left paracolic gutter. This is the left ISOS muscle. These are the bowels. And this is this black area is the fluid. Here is the pancreas. This is the pancreatic view. This is the liver showing diffuse, mild diffuse, parenchyma lipogenicity. She patient is very tender to the probe in this region of, in all the regions of study, from pelvic to abdominal quadrants, and uh, fluid is everywhere. Now, only follicles that, that are seen in this region. Now, is this uh, an ectopic ruptured pregnancy? As these two may be represented, representing a twin pregnancy, and the white ecogenic band representing the trophoplastic reaction. I don't have the history of this patient, I don't have anything with me <laughs> regarding her uh, clinical examination and lab uh, profile, so I will leave the rest to the doctor to uh, conclude. Thank you very much.